Good morning, Stampers. Thank you for joining me back again today and um, joining me here at Rebecca Creates. I am Rebecca. Good morning. I am going to be making a card with this stamp set right here. Let me see if I get in the camera. There you go. And this is called Lotus Blossom. Okay, I'm going to be using the Whisper White to stamp on it. And this is, oop, and I did a boo-boo earlier, so I just flipped it over. And this is five inches long to three and three-eighths. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to stamp on this side. I'm going to be stamping with the Watermelon Wonder, and all the inks that I'm using this morning, the ink pads, are from the in colors. So let me ink this rose petal up. This is the middle one, the middle rose petal or rosebud. Okay. Now I'm going to mist it with just plain water, just real quick, like quick, not wet it, like damp it, but just quick mist. See, real quick. Then I'm going to center it right here, like in the end, and then stamp. Pretty. Then I'm going to clean it off. Close my ink pad. Then I'm going to use um, the mint macaroon ink pad. And I'm going to do the same. I'm going to ink it up. This is, you can't really see it on the stamp, but it is inking up. See, it's real like clear. And then when you missed it, it's even worse. Okay. There you go. Can ink this up. I mean, stamp it. <laughs> I really inked it up. Okay. There you go. So you have to be careful because as if you notice on the card, See right here, there's a little bit of red still on there, or the watermelon. So you have to be careful to make sure you wipe your stamps good. But I'm gonna leave it as that because it might give it a little effect that even though I didn't want it, it will still look nice. Okay, then I'm sorry. This is a Dijon, delightful Dijon. Okay, so I'm going to. Do the same. Make this up. Put it at a distance. Missed it. And then just damp it. There you go. Close it up. Well, actually, I wanted to put my sentiment there in the corner. So let me go ahead and do that since I have this open. Okay, let me put this on here. Make sure it's on there correctly. Even D. Hmm, just kind of click it. Okay. So I'm gonna stamp this right. There. There we go. Okay, now I can close this up and I'm done with this. Then I'm going to use my cucumber crush for this the stem. And I'm using this stem right here. I don't know if you can let me see if I'm out. Okay, there we go. This one is kind of like a broken up stem. Like, I don't know, it's, it's, I like it, so I'm going to use that. Let me pull this thing that keeps falling up. Okay. There we go. And I'm not going to, um, miss this one. You can, but for this one, I'm not going to do that. There we 
like that. Okay, so let me close this up. I'm going to use um, the tip top top. And I'm going to get my little sponge dauber or my sponge <laughs> and daub the ends. So I get it like this, daub it up, okay, and then just go to some sides until I get as much effect on it as I would like. Now the card base I'm using, let's see, I like to look at my, I don't know all the names yet as you can tell, um, Mint Macaroon, this is the card base that I'm going to be using, and this is 11 long at 4 and a quarter, and the, the Life of Dijon is, um, five and three eighths by four inches. Okay, so we're going to do this one first. Let me get my glue runner. Usually I would use a stronger base glue to put on your butt because for the sake of time, I'm just going to put dab the corners right here to get it on there. Try to center it as best as possible where it's even. Okay, there we go. Okay. Then my whisper white. And there's a mistake that I made earlier. I was preparing for the video. I was trying to make a card, decide what I was going to make. I just flipped it over, which you can do instead of wasting paper. No one's going to see it. I guess they take it apart. Okay. There. And there you go. This is my flow, my card for the day. Thank you very much for joining me. If you have any questions, you can email me or go on to my blog and email me. My number is on there if you need any questions or help with anything. Um, we also do have a catalog that you can look at for these products. And if not and you don't have a demonstrator, please get a hold of me and I will send you out a catalog to send me all your information. Also, do not forget that the 29th, I will be naming out the person that wins the raffle because we'll be doing the raffle that day uh, right after the video and um, I will let you know and announce it on there so please um, pay attention get on there see me and you'll see who wins if not I will make sure that I email you let you know that you are the winner and um, you can still jump in and join for the raffle It's $25 or more that you purchase through me for Stampin Up on my blog and I will enter your name into the raffle and you have till Friday. So thank you very much and I will see you soon.